We have a unique opportunity here at UH Manoa with the two frogs because we have two identical buildings side by side. And what we're finding out that we hadn't really anticipated is the impact of behavior and user preference on how the buildings operate and how they use energy. One of the advantages of having a net zero building is that we have photovoltaics on the roof, which allows us to be able to test various battery technologies, as well as the capabilities of these batteries to provide other ancillary services to the utility and to the grid. If you look at the grid, a very significant part of overall energy goes into buildings. So understanding those buildings better, teaching people how to design them better, how to integrate them better into the grid is one of the building blocks of the entire system, which is ultimately what we need to address. By combining energy efficient construction materials, window glass designed to control transmission of heat, ceiling fans with scientifically designed aerofoils, lighting that is responsive to ambient daylight, sensors that read radiant interior temperatures as well as levels of occupancy, on-demand self-limiting air conditioning and real-time monitoring to ensure the buildings are attaining their net zero goals, the frog classrooms are designed to set new levels of energy efficiency and conservation. We've got one professor who has decided that he will not use the air conditioner and they use one third of the energy that the other frog uses. With these being so carefully monitored, we're able to determine when the lights are on, when AC is on, and who's using ceiling fans at what time. So we're able to really track behavior against the energy consumption.